Hello, a warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining us. This is Platform. I'm Ruth Aguele. The inauguration of the 10th National Assembly approaches and the leadership tussle is on the front burner. Well, as the race for the leadership of the National Assembly commences, various templates for zoning key offices of the parliament have emerged, especially from members of the ruling All Progressives Congress. Now, while senators-elect have indicated interest, some parties towards are of the opinion that regional politics and zoning is of critical importance. While the majority wants power to stay within its region, the minority are also calling for recognition. Now, the APC is yet to make its final stance on the position. But in the meantime, there are clamor for selective candidates even in the APC. Putting that into perspective requires due diligence, especially in a democratic era. Now, the 1999 Constitution subsection, as amended, section 14, subsection 3, um, states that the composition of the government of the Federation or any of its agencies and the conduct of its affairs shall be carried out in such a manner as to reflect the federal character of Nigeria and the need to promote national unity and also to command national loyalty, thereby ensuring that there shall be no predominance of persons from a few state or from a few ethnic or other sectional groups in that government or in any of its agencies. You would say quite interesting. But when it comes to politics, we will leave that to the experts to dissect that, um, some of these issues. And that's actually our focus today on platform, the 10th National Assembly leadership and martyrs arising. And our guest is Mr. Joseph Wires Jr. Um, he's a member of the APC Presidential Campaign Council. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Wires. Thank you for having me. Um, all right, before we introduce our panelists, let's take you through a bit of his profile. Mr. Joseph Wires Jr. is from Oban Liku government, local government area, formerly part of Obudu, local government in Cross River State. He is the son of late Right Honorable Dr. Joseph Wires, GCON, former Senate President in 1979 to 1983. He is a leading member of South South Solidarity Group current member of the APC Presidential Campaign Council, I told you that earlier, and Director of Media and Publicity Presidential Support Committee for South South, Office of the Senior Presidential Advisor for Political Affairs. And in 2015, he contested for House of Representatives Obudu, Oban Liku Federal Constituency under the All Progressives Congress. Once again, thank you so much for joining us on platform. Thank you. All right, so our panelist is our political correspondent here in NTA, Salihu Guanara. Always a pleasure to have you join us on platform, Salihu. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be part of this show again. All right, so Mr. Wires, we're discussing, or rather, we're going to be discussing the 10th National Assembly leadership and the matters arising. Of course, you agree with me that it's been a lot of, um, you know, issues arising from that aspect, especially when it comes to the zoning um, you're a member of the APC and we've had different concerns, different opinions from all sections. You know, who the mantle of leadership, talking about the Senate president, should go to. But you tell us, what's your general perspective? Well, first and foremost, uh, thank you for inviting me on the show. I must introduce myself uh, properly as um, a member of the South-South uh, Solidarity Group. The South-South Solidarity Group is an amalgamation, a rainbow coalition okay. of like minds, like interests. Uh, we have come together in this political season to canvas for the, uh, for the ushering in in this 10th, in the, in the upcoming 10th uh, uh, assembly of the uh, National, um, National Assembly. Uh, for the, um, the coming of uh, the uh, Senate presidency to be zoned to our region, the South-South, otherwise known as the Niger Delta region. So that's why we're here. We, we, we believe that it's time for our voices to be heard because um, at this important and pivotal time in the history of our nation, we, we, we don't want to sit down and be silent. 
Okay, uh, just, just to cut in there, in as much as you will be airing the, your opinion when it comes to the South-South interest, I will also would like you to, you know, expand the discourse, look at it from a general perspective so we don't narrow it to South-South. Is that okay? Well, um, w w charity should begin at home. Okay. And, um, you, 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 you know, we, it will be hard to remove uh, this uh, nail biting nail biting issue for us mm -hmm. uh, we we have just participated as good Nigerians in the general election that ushered in a new president elect and um, and we played our role we played the cards as we should do as loyal citizens of this country so we believe that um, one good should beget another uh, and and uh, it's very personal to us. So we, we have been the good sport. We have been the good uh, team player. We, we now think that it is time to focus on, on our needs, on our concerns, on our issues. And so uh, I'm sorry. Uh, um, uh, we know that these, the last uh, presidential election was a very, was a very, um, was a very epic, epic one for this nation. We saw, we saw movements and developments that we have never seen mm. in, in the political discourse of this nation. And we think that it is time to register the South Side. We are the bird basket of this nation. We keep the lights on. We keep the engines going. Mm. Uh, we pay the bills. And so why shouldn't we uh, open our mouths and say what is our hopes and our, and our thoughts? Gwanara, okay. no, I'm sure you uh, want to come yeah, in. Yes, uh, as a strong supporter of the All Progressives Congress and as a lawyer citizen and a member of the Progressives family, uh, it's, it will be interesting to first uh, know your opinion about the party's decision. You know, as at this time we are discussing this issue, the party has not taken a position on that. Mm. Uh, as a lawyer member of the party, uh, I think uh, so much is, uh, you are expecting so much from the party. And uh, is it not too fast for you to come out with this, uh, your ambition of, okay, we want this to be in our zone? Are you not supposed to wait for the party's decision in this uh, contest? Oh, quite the frank, uh, qu quite the opposite. The, the party, the party is, is, um, uh, is, is born of um, Nigerians. Is born of our leaders, is born of our neighbors, is born of our friends. Is if we're if we're fortunate, maybe even born of our family members. It's very important. Now is the time. So the Senate presidency is is a far more important matter for us to consider and look at. It's okay. You mean the party's decision On does not count in this matter? No, well, it is our job as the um, as the party loyalists to influence the influencers. Um, whoever you can get to that will play a role, small or large, in the decision on who will, on, on where to zone um, these uh, important offices of the National Assembly, we want to speak to them. We want to register our voices. We want to register our, my, uh, our thoughts and so that they will know, bearing in mind. Look, the South-South is not a, uh, and it's not a region that you can easily discounnounce. Hmm. It's, it's, if, if, you're, if, you are, if you're a husband and you're married to a beautiful wife, you cannot discounnounce her. You do so at your own peril. It's very important to consider the South-South uh, in, in the steps we take as a nation. And today the South-South is making her voice known that, look, we want to, we, we've, not, we've only had it one time. We've only had it once before. It has been circulated so many times around a particular region in this country where even the current contesters are saying, look, zone it now to my father's house. They're not even talking about zone it to my region or zone it to my state or zone it to my uh, local government. They have gone far, uh, they've gone as far as to say, zone it to my house. We are still talking about zoning it to our region as a people. Okay, uh, Mr. Wires, this is a very um, 
sensitive issue um, because as a member of the ruling party and we're entering a new dispensation of course the quest for balance of power is required everybody will want to show interest so to say but some have advocated for zoning according to contributions of the last elections um, other sections suggested the adoption of the arrangement between 1999 and 2007 now we've seen different templates play out if you want to talk about um, equity, fairness, and justice, do you buy into this quest? Well, thank God you, you um, in your introduction, you are reading uh, what are key tenets that we hold dear in this country. Zoning is, a, is, is here to stay in Nigeria. We feel very strongly about that. Rotation. We feel very strongly about that. Summed up in the Constitution, more as a federal character, we are very, as much as we like to keep even religion out of our daily discourse and our work, we cannot ignore the fact uh, that our, our brothers, our sisters, are members of the other faiths, separate from our own. And, and if they truly are, in our own thinking and mindset, uh, our, mother, our, our brothers, then at least my religion says you should be your brother's keeper. Uh? Mm. You, you, if, you, if you are at a table and the table is full, you have to check, well, then who is missing? Uh, and, and we cannot afford a key component of, of people that make up this beautiful tapestry called Nigeria. We cannot afford to leave them out. Uh, it, will, it, it will not all go well for us as a nation. Okay, but you, you didn't answer my question. What about the adoption of the arrangement of 1999 to 2007, which, you know, some party stalwarts are actually advocating for? Um, should we go back to the time of zoning into the southeast because the president-elect, um, the president then was from southwest, the um, vice president was from northeast, so the senate president, um, you know, as of that time, was from southeast. Well, at the time it was zoned to the southeast in 1999, it was a new idea. It was a new idea, it was a new concept, it was a new time. Uh, one thing that is constant, we are told, is change. That was done then, and as a, as, as a result of it, I'm sure it wasn't the intention, as a result of it, we have gone through almost every state in that particular region. I don't think, I, it, it's like uh, having the best of all worlds. If you imagine we in the South-South, if, we if we were facing that situation where the Senate presidency has rotated through every state in our region, I'm sure that there will be no clamor today by us for the Senate presidency. We, we, would, we, we would insist that other Nigerians that haven't had their chance should have their chance. But we are talking about something that we last had some, uh, some 40 years ago. Some 40 years ago. And when we had it, we did a very good job of it. You know, people are still, are still talking about those days as if they were only yesterday. But they were more than 40 years ago when Nigeria uh, showed that if you, put, if you put your trust in the hands of the right people, you will not regret it. So the South-South has done a good job before, and we have been a very good team player, allowing there to be a sense of inclusiveness of everything called development, everything called politics, everything called, um, you, you know, peace, uh, peace and, and progress in the nation. Mm. I think that it is time. It is time. We, um, some of the, some of the uh, contestants for this, uh, for example, um, well, I won't call any names from, from, uh, from the uh, southeast region at least. Uh, uh, they have, they, the, the, um, the, they're in the same dilemma that even we in the south-south found ourselves in that uh, in the south-south, our only Senate president before uh, has died, has died, and 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 uh, this particular this particular state they have 
they have had, you know, they have the, the same exact scenario. Their, 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 former, their former senator, who was Senate president, is late, ha has died. But yet, they're already talking about having it back. We, we are not talking about going to the same state that had it before in the South South. We are thinking that, no, the other states that haven't touched it at this time, that they come on board. And we are, and we are supporting our brothers enthusiastically. Hmm. It's okay. Yes, yeah, you know, in a quest like this, uh, it requires a kind of uh, engagement across the country. Before we talk about how far you have gone uh, engaging other senators elect members of the National Assembly that would be 10th Assembly members elect, let's talk about the presence of your party in your zone, in the zone that uh, you're talking about, South-South. Yeah. How much of a, a presence is APC in that zone compared, for instance, to your neighbors, the South-East, who are like more in, in, the, in the government at the center, as it stands today, they have two states, uh, APC, and the remaining three states divided across PDP, Labour Party, and APGA. So as far as that zone is concerned, they feel they have more uh, in government at the center compared to this zone. Are you comfortable with the, with the presence of APC in your zone? Well, if, if you understand the, uh, the character and the uh, behavior of our people. We, um, from my state in particular, I'm from Cross River, as you have said already, we do not believe in swimming against the current. The current in Nigeria uh, is that APC is the leader at the center. And for years it wasn't so. For years it was those terrible masters from that other party who kept our people... Let's not try to call anybody name. No, no I'm, not, okay. I'm, I'm not calling their... It's, okay. it's only their conscience that will worry them because I've not called their name. But, no, the know, term those, you use and quantifying. Well, well uh, I'm, I'm just, feel, I'm, I'm just uh, relaying, you know, the, um, the kind of uh, uh, situation our people found ourselves in. And, you know, it was, um, it was like going through deliverance for those of you who may, be, uh, who may be familiar with Christian terms, uh, we had to go through a sense of, or a period of deliverance to, to be delivered from that master-servant kind, of, uh, kind of mindset. Uh, and APC are the people, APC is the party that, that freed us, came to free us. Uh, and uh, we know that in the last election, um, APC won the governorship election and, and um, it won it under the, uh, the leadership of our, our present uh, governor, um, Ben Ayade, but we have a new governor. And, and he, he gambled with his own political life in order to make sure that this emancipation of his own people will come to pass. And it came to pass. And the whole state is rejoicing that they have been let free they have been freed from, from, from the shackles that kept them down as a people. Mm. So yes, it's, um, APC as, as a party has found a new home in my state, has found a new home in my state. We are unabashedly APC, and um, we know that um, uh, in four years under, under um, the South-South uh, Senate presidency, the whole region, the rest of the region will be so. No, it's okay. No, yeah, yes. Ahead, yeah, no, no, what, no matter the, the engagement, the assurances yes. from other party leadership or stakeholders, uh, those who take decisions are the senators elect, yes. the 109 of them. Yes. So, how much of engagement, how much of uh, kind of uh, 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 reach? Are you able to reach out to to the senators elect, considering your 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 number from the zone you are coming? Talking about the south south, I'm sure the south south has few. How many senators do they have in that zone? Well, the, 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 it's proportional to the rest of the nation. So mm -hmm. every every state has uh, three 
three senators. So it's proportional to what goes. What I'm talking about your party, APC. Uh, well, well uh, we will get there. In my state, we're not doing too badly. We have uh, two Ingo. of the three. We have two of the three. But no, the, the journey of a thousand miles uh, starts with your first step. Hmm. Your first step is to influence the zoning arrangement in your party. There's no point hoping to be Senate president if your party has taken a stance on zoning the Senate, the seat of the Senate president elsewhere. You must first, you must first influence that decision. And that decision happens before even the senators elect, the new senators elect. The, the next NEC meeting um, that we'll hold uh, uh, by next week, um, I don't think the new senators elect will be invited. Uh, they, they, they are not yet senators. So as part of the, as part of the uh, NEC meeting, it will be existing senators only that will be invited. And, and we know, and, as, and also you know, there was a huge turn, turnover of senators in this current, uh, in this current um, uh, sorry, in, in the upcoming uh, Tenth Assembly. Tenth Assembly. So uh, our strategy is two-pronged. First of all, to influence the decision that the uh, party will take to favor us, to favor the region, to favor our region, by the grace of God. And thereafter, we now go into uh, influencing um, the senators that, that emerge. We understand that, of course, it is, it is going to be um, their, their personal decision that they make. But, but uh, they're looking for keys from anywhere um, they can, anywhere it's forthcoming, good keys, and uh, we are going to present with them what we think are the good reasons why they should consider the okay. South South. M Mr. Wires, uh, you called the numbers and a lot has been going through my head. Um, you said, I don't know if you particularly meant for the 10th National Assembly, um, three from the South South. No, three. Okay. From no, Cross River. No, no, three, uh, sorry, two from Cross River. Okay. Yes, there's, uh, we, we, we have, uh, of course, much more healthier numbers than that, but like I said, it's a two-step. It's a two-step process. There's no point okay. go, uh, doing what you're doing now. What you should be doing at the end okay. when you should, you're not doing. Okay, they, I'm getting somewhere yes. now. We have um, 57 new senators elect for the APC in the yeah. 10th incoming 10th National Assembly. We did very well. <laughs> Won't you say that? Yes. Yes, you, we did very well, well. Well, you did very well talking about yeah. APC. We heard now, the cry of Nigerians okay, for change. Okay, I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> there's the area of the parliamentarians who, by virtue of their performances and commitment, you know, some of them are still serving senators and some will be joining for the first time. And if I am correct, part of the criteria um, aside the senators elect, you know, do the whole voting by themselves. There's also the concern for character, competencies, and credibility, and number of years of experience there as a lawmaker. Will that count for the candidate you're vying for? Well, first and first and foremost, uh, according to the rules of the uh, of the Senate, the um, their their leaders, particularly. Um, the Senate President um, and in the House the Speaker and by extension the Deputy Senate President and after that is the uh, leader of the Senate, Senate leader and leader of the House. Um, the, those, those positions by the rules of each House must or should go mm. to ranking uh, in this case, senators. Those, that is, those who have been there at a time before. Mm. And, um, and yes, um, uh, we are fortunate in the South-South that um, um, at least the favored candidate for the race of, uh, of Senate President uh, fits that criteria. Um, all the senators including the new ones, are all qualified, eminently qualified to be Senate presidents. A Senate president in, in, the, 
in the National Assembly is he is only the first among his his uh, his equal peers. His equal peers, they they choose for sake of uh, convenience, for sake of progress, for sake of decorum, for to elect their own, one of their own, to lead them. He um, it doesn't mean anything more than that. It doesn't mean anything more than that. But it's a very good post. It's a very good call to be trusted enough with that kind of position by your colleagues. It speaks well of an individual, and it, and it speaks well of, um, of a region. Mm. Uh, we know that um, the last Senate president uh, in the National Assembly, who was from the South-South, Built the confidence in Nigeria of the character, the kind of, the kind of, um, the kind of character our leaders have or possess, and as a result, Nigeria reciprocated several times. It was it was often the case that even if the number one, whether it's a military or civilian role, the number one person was was a president. It was either the number two or number three person. Uh, uh, usually was somebody from the South South. And, and maybe we ought to go back to that arrangement, as you were talking about going back to what was happening before. Maybe we have to go back to that arrangement to bring the kind of uh, the peace, the kind of progress, the kind of good times that we had I, before. I'm glad you session. mentioned peace and progress. It, it, it's, it should be, in as much as the clamor is for um, inclusive um, governance and balance of power um, via zoning and zoning rather. The, what about national interest? What about the interest of the party? Um, the party cannot afford to be divided at this critical time mm -hmm. before this election. That's why I'm here. I think you've said it all. I'm the asking party, you. The party cannot. <laughs> the party cannot uh, forget. I'm asking the, you because you're clamoring for components. your candidates, but there should be a general agreement. No, 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 you, you misunderstand. We are clamoring first for our region. Okay. We're clamoring first for our region. And it so happens that when you, if you agree with us that our region should step forward, that you will look, you yourself will look for the best, and you will, and you will agree with us. You, you know, you, you, which I should have believed you guys in the first place because mm. your candidate really is the best. Uh, so we are clamoring for our region. Uh, you know, Goswell at Pabio, for instance, is a team player. When the party made the decision that the next president that uh, will, that will come, so, sorry, that, that, that will vibe. Um, at least for the party in the, in the election that we just had, will be um, uh, Bola Tinubu from, uh, from, from the Southwest. Um, uh, Akpabio doffed his hat, stepped out of the ring, uh, announced full support for, uh, for, for, uh, for, for His Excellency uh, uh, Bola Tinubu, and, and followed up by that, by making sure that every delegate from Akwaibum that came to vote for him is now turning their support and their vote for Bola uh, Tinubu. So he has shown by example that if you're going to be a good leader, you must show the example first of being a, and a successful follower. And he has done that for the sake of Nigeria. Uh, and Bola Tinubu, I don't need to tell you, is from the southwest, as I've said already. He's not, he's not from the uh, from the south south, and uh, but yet, um, uh, that was the direction this nation was going, and um, and uh, our, our our leader Goswell of Pabio followed suit. So and so it should be, that now this country, the leader, the the direction it should be going should be that this is the time for the South-South. Equity says that. Fairness says that. Hmm. Uh, you know that this is the time for the South-South. Okay, so, just yeah. before Gwanara asks that question, Gwanara, hold that thought, yes. hold the question. Let's just take this break. We'll be back in a moment. Stay tuned. It seems that the Buhari-led administration has made remarkable progress. Like Lafia Transmission Station nearing completion. 
Africa does not need charity, but partnerships that will promote the adequate investment. With the cooperation of all. Sharing firsthand the experiences of reporters on the field as they bring to you weekly the beauty of Nigeria's diverse culture and the economic potentials therein. The Correspondents Development through the eye of the grassroots, showing every Monday at 1.30 p.m. on the network service of the NTA with a repeat broadcast on NTA News 24 and NTA International. Join us. Allow these children to grow. Yes. Many of them, you have somebody 14, 15, going to the university, where are you going? Information technology is the future. Hello, a warm welcome to you. This is Platform. I'm Ruth Aguela. If you don't create that awareness and you don't bring the young minds to identify that there are benefits in astronomy. We have had experiences okay. through various leadership strata bringing us to where we can... Uh, Platform engages guests on topical issues for national interest. We have cases like that. We all to protect children and also make parents realize that they have a primary responsibility. Join us every Thursday at 2 p.m. on the network service of the NTA. Thanks for staying tuned and the conversation is still on the 10th National Assembly leadership and matters arising. Um, Guanara, you were going to yes. ask a very serious yes. question. So yes, I, I, we still have our APC chief saying in the, in, the, in the studio. You were talking about uh, agitation for the number three position, that is the Senate presidency of the 10th National Assembly. Now, one would wonder, Nigerians want to know why this agitation for the South South? It's like you already have a plan. Is it because of the beauty or benefit attached to the office, or you already have a developmental plan that will go alongside the renewed hope agenda of the president elect, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, to move Nigeria to the next uh, development strike? I can tell you that um, if you ask the people from my state, hmm. What's the benefit of having a um, Senate president from your region? They will tell you that what the last Senate president did when he was in office more than 40 years ago, they are still enjoying the benefits of it today. So it matters greatly, greatly to a people. The, they have faith in the process. The, the other group that is in contention, they, they really don't understand the value to, to a region of having that. And that's why, you know, the last time they, had, they were in office, it was stigmatized by all kinds of um, all kinds of uh, sad developments, you know, the banana peel, the, the contract issues and things like that. Um, no, a, a region, if, if you can give a whole region in Nigeria one pill that if they swallow it will mean peace, will mean joy, will mean happiness, it is a very good thing to do right now, given that our nerves are frayed, we are standing at our edges. We are, we are, we've been too educated on too many bad things the last, the last two decades. It is time for good news. It is time for optimism. It's time for, for hope. Hmm. It is time for, to put a smile on the, on the faces of people. Um, the, the Senate President that the last, uh, sorry, the last uh, Senate President that the South-South um, produced was a Christian. Uh, but I can tell you that even today, Muslims don't see him in that vein. Uh, and his name was, was, was a very popular name for a Christian, Joseph. 
Huh? You're talking I, about your dad. You well, well I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm glad you, you, you know that. <laughs> you, you were a little bit young. Maybe he wasn't. You I, were I, I wasn't born it. then. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but Nigerians from all walks of society, from the length and breadth of this nation, huh? um, they, it, they didn't judge him on, on uh, for example, we can't talk to you, you are a Christian. You know, and, and, and or if it were vice versa. They said, no, what you did was for the good of this nation. We loved how you respected our forefathers. Uh, my, my father, when he was Senate president, everyone in the, everyone in the presidency was younger than him, so he was older than him, some old enough to be his father. And he treated them with the respect of fathers. Nigerians enjoyed seeing that, enjoyed seeing big men behaving like they were, you know, young enough to respect, be respectful about elders, about tradition, about this nation, etc. And, and we want to go back to those days. We want to go back to those days. I, I, uh, I, I told a story once somewhere else that um, uh, this, uh, this great leader I am canvassing for, and my group we're canvassing for, one day stopped in the parking lot of a, uh, of a mall. And just because I looked towards his way, I walked towards him, the next thing I know, he's holding my hand and we start walking back towards the mall I'd, early, I'd earlier come out of. We want those kind of leaders. Uh, what, what, Mr. We Wyatt? want leaders that are ready hmm. to reach out their hand, to grab the hand of the nearest Nigerian. Okay, Mr. Wyatt, what you have um, stated is not out of terms, but I asked a question earlier at the start of this conversation. Um, part of the concerns is that the zone that produced the highest number of votes during the last election, part of the arguments rather, um, should be given. It's only right to compensate them, should be given the Senate president's seat. Now, you're also, the South South is also clamoring for their own position. The South East is also clamoring for its own position. Where's the place of unity within the party? You, you know, you've, if, you, if this was church, we've just had church, we can go home. Because, because the, 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 using, using those uh, differentials that you, that you yourself just enumerated, the, the South-South is head and shoulders above any of their, 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 their uh, could I call them competitors? Co competitors in the South. For the, yeah, in the south, in, in the south for the um, for the for, for the Senate presidency. In one state alone, one man, the man I'm so gladly proposing to whoever will listen to be the next Senate president of this nation, one man brought more votes from his one state than one region making the other region making the noise about they want this thing again that they have thrown away so many times. If you add all their numbers from, I think it is their five states. You are referring Do to we the call it yes. No, I'm talking yes. about, uh, the, no, uh, we're assuming that it is zoned to the south. Okay. Uh, I'm saying that uh, in the south there are three, there are three regions. Uh, we are uh, assuming that the west will allow the other two to vie for the number three vote, uh, post. And we are saying that if you would say that uh, uh, the other region, we are competing, so we are competitors, we said that to deliver our president in this last election, just one state alone from the South-South had more votes for the uh, Senate, for the president-elect than all the other seven states combined. How dare they? They ought to, it, we, it, should, it ought to be given as a first right of refusal to the South-South, because the South-South, mm -hmm. using your own standard, has worked for it, has been loyal. Um, uh, uh, Pabio stepped down for Bola Tinubu, and not only did he step down for the Bola he went and harnessed all the votes. Where's the place of the Northwest? There is also clamor for that. No, the, um, we're talking about it coming back to the... To the to the south. But they're all in the race. The Northwest is, uh, 
has has their rights to aspire to this post, mm -hmm. and we and and they shouldn't be denied. But let it be. Uh, let let the next people in line go for this thing. This this thing. This opportunity belongs to the South South. We can't have a situation. The Northwest is mostly uh, inhabited by uh, by Muslims, I believe, by Muslims. And um, even though we don't want religion to be now a large part of I was going to say that. Yes. Is it about we the religion this, now or yes. the ethnicity? But, 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 but look at it this way. Uh, if the first, uh, if the president is a Muslim, if the vice president is a Muslim, if the chief of uh, the sorry, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court is a Muslim. Can't we fit in a Christian somewhere? Is it about religion now? Oh, yes, it is. Yes. Oh, 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 yes, it is. Because Christians, when they go to church to pray, they are praying. They are praying for themselves, and they are praying from where they are from. So, where is the place of one Nigeria? If we keep um, always having at the back of our minds that you're a Muslim, I'm a Christian, how do we move forward as well, a nation? Well, I should ask you, where is the place of a one Nigeria? when you have the top, the top positions in Nigeria, not one of them. You can't find among a, a population a in their tens Mr. of Wires, millions. But I, if, if we want to preach one Nigeria, I will not put my faith first. I'll put, if I find this person competent to do this job, I will put that person there irrespective of religion or tribe. Well, the, uh, for instance, um, the last uh, Senate president, well, the current Senate president is from the North. It's, it's from the north. We are saying that on the basis of, of rotation, on the, on the basis of federal character, on the, on, on, on the basis of uh, justice, equity, fairness, uh, surely you, you can't look towards their brother on, on the west. You have to come back south first because it has not been, for eight years, it has not been in the south, that position. So rotation means that you rotate back to the south. It's OK. Go on, go ahead. Yes. Yeah, you see, though you are not a lawmaker, in 2015, you contested and uh, lost. Now, talking about uh, Must you, you remind us. Yes, no, I just, I have <laughs> to, because it's, it's because of the question I want to ask. It has to do with your expectations from the would-be uh, lead national, uh, uh, president of the 10th uh, Senate. Let's talk about governance here. What Nigerians, Nigerians are not after who is the Senate president. Nigerians are not after who is the speaker. Nigerians are after good governance. As we have seen, we are seeing this government, the government will be going by May 29. What kind of laws do you envisage from the would-be National Assembly leaders talking about your Senate presidency, which you think the South-South should be given the opportunity, because we are talking about development of this country, mm. regardless of the, the zone. You, he, by, whoever becomes the Senate president is going to be the Senate president of Nigeria, Nigeria not and, a not a, section. and not a particular zone. So now what do you think should be the focus? What, what is your target in terms of uh, development for this country that is making you think your zone? should be given this opportunity. Tell us, tell Nigerians the aspect, if you are given the opportunity, the kind of, you are here today talking to Nigerians. Nigerians will be given the opportunity to like, okay, we saw you sometimes making keys, now you are there. What should Nigerians expect in terms of lawmaking? Well, by the grace of God, um um, who the cap fits, lets him wear it. God's will at Pabio has shown from his antecedents, from his chance, his chances in office before, has shown that he in particular has what it takes. If he moved Akwaibom forward, he, what he did for Akwaibom he will definitely do for Nigeria. At least that was the case we made even at the presidency. Hmm. We said that what Bola Tinubu had done for Lagos, by extension, we can believe that he would equally do so, if not even better, from, uh, from, for, for Nigeria. Uh, um, 
it's very important that young people growing up, particularly in the South-South, can imagine what they can be tomorrow in this nation we call Nigeria. Mm -hmm. The examples that you were talking about, North, East, Northwest, Southwest, those are very good. Even South East, very good. But what of South South? South South too has young children coming up that are going to be part and parcel of the tapestry we call Nigeria. And they have to play an equally uh, positive and effective role to be Nigeria's keeper. Who knows? Among them may be the best Nigeria as a nation has to offer. Mm -hmm. As we are saying that among the senators, the best that is there today uh, is Goswell Akpabio. We believe that if opportunities are extended and given to all regions, in this case to the South-South region, we will, we will be saving our nation because tomorrow among those bright little ones, one or two or three or four or five or six will rise up uh, to be even better than God's will okay. at Fabio. And even at the end of all these, um, you know, opinions or conversations, the ball still hands down to the senators elect, you know, to choose who will lead them at the end of the day. Um, what kind of conversation should your candidate, you know, should be having with his lawmakers at this time? Well, the, the, um, when you put yourself in that situation alone, I think uh, the psychologists call it groupthink. Uh, everybody, is, everybody is thinking, they have the same mindset, and that may not necessarily pertain to development in this, uh, among us in this nation. It's very important that the lawmakers remember Nigeria in all their deliberations, in all their work. And so we, uh, the South-South Solidarity Group, we are playing our role to make sure that these, that these lawmakers remember Nigeria. I think that the thing about that, the thing that is innate in the human character is that when, when we are called, when we are expected to produce greatness, uh, and 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 something and an endeavor that is um, th that is all encompassing and people can look up to. Um, we surprise even mm. ourselves. Okay. We surprise even ourselves. We surprise the nation. You know, I could imagine you, for example, leading this country one day. You, will, you, you maybe it wasn't something you thought of, but when it happens, you will, you will arise to the uh, to, to to the occasion. God's will at Pabio has arisen. This is his time. He has arisen to the situation uh, of, uh, that we call ourselves okay. today. Uh, yes. Guanari, your final question. Very quickly, yes, yes. All right. All, right. all right. Talking about unity, I want us to talk about the unity among uh, party members, especially these party stakeholders in the zone. Uh, build up to the 2023 election, we, we've, we've had it at uh, the 19 Northern. Uh, governors unanimously agreed that, look, it's a gentleman agreement of our party, the All Progressives Congress, that let power go to the south. They didn't say let power go to the southwest, southeast, or south-south. Mm -hmm. Now, the stakeholders in their own wisdom agreed and produced Bola Metinubu, who is today the president-elect. Now, what one will expect is these stakeholders from the zone how united are you in the agitation for this number three position now that you are here making case for only your own zone? Okay. Instead of making case for the entire zone south, let's talk about south first. How united are the stakeholders in this uh, agitation? We started off on a good foot in this, in this uh, show you invited me to. You reminded everybody about the federal character. Mm. What good is a lawmaker if he cannot practice the very law that he is there to, to uphold? He's, re he's there to improve. He is there to protect. Mm. You, charity begins at home. Employ the tenets of federal character. 
that this thing not only should be, go around, microzone it even to a site where there is great, dis okay. great de uh, deficiency. Why not? Okay. Why not? Um, we didn't mention for the House of Representatives, if the South-South takes leadership for the Senate, assuming, so to say, I'm not <laughs> predicting that, um, what are you predicting for the, what are your projections for the um, House of Reps, Speaker for House of Reps? The zone, yeah. Yes. We hope that they follow the same formula of justice, equity, and fairness. You don't have a particular zone? Uh, no, our work, we, we have, uh, as uh, my group anyway, uh, we, have, we, have, we, we have spotted this deficiency and, and it is this deficiency we are, okay. we are determined to address. Okay, we'll leave the conversation there. Uh, like you said, um, let the best man win when the time comes. Thank you so much, Mr. Joseph Wires um, Jr. He's a member of the APC Presidential Campaign Council and also member of the South South Solidarity Group. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much again for inviting us. We, we hope that by your smiles, it's an affirmation <laughs> to our hope and, cl and uh, cry. No, leave me out of it. South -South, <laughs> Uh, the South just, South just will. Just leave me out of it, Because Mr. you Wyatt. said it was before the days you were born. So now that you are alive, uh, you need to experience the goodness of let having, the, best man win, of having like the South South leader let the best as man the win. Senate president. Gwanera, thank you so much. Salio Gwanera, our political correspondent, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. It's, it's always a pleasure being on this show. Thank All you. Right. We've been talking the 10th National Assembly leadership and matters arising. Whatever plays out, whatever happens um, in the coming um, few weeks um, when the inauguration of the 10th National Assembly will happen, we want to see as Nigerians fairness, equity and justice. That's Platform. I'm Ruth Aguele. Bye.